Whether we like it or not, money certainly impacts pretty much every aspect of our lives, right? We try not to focus on it, but it's there, right? You look at your wallet, your bank account. Financial literacy is something that many people do, don't fully understand until adulthood. Well, our next guest helps to empower teens to figure out personal finances and money management so they have the skills they need to succeed as adults. So joining us now is Roy Paul. He's the executive director of Sensibility, a New York-based nonprofit teaching high school students financial literacy. Roy, thanks so much. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. My pleasure. All right, so how can parents and families talk to their teens about savings? They don't like talking about money unless you're just giving it to them. That is so true. And as easy as it sounds, the hardest part is to just start having the conversation, mm -hmm. uh, having it as early and as often as possible. The vast majority of our teenagers say that they don't even talk about money with their families. Mm. So the, the, the first step is just to have the conversation. Yeah, you know, and I wish that, you know, it's that so many teenagers actually learned about this. There's a class on it or something, right? And here you are walking into our lives. So in your experience mm -hmm. with sensibility, right, how often are you actually seeing what you just said? How often are families having those conversations? Yeah, they're not having it very often. And the, the major reason is there is a huge financial insecurity crisis going on right now for all of the obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. And when families don't have a lot of money, they don't like talking about it because they're very uncomfortable by it. Uh, but we always tell people the more you start having these conversations, that is what bridges the gap between those that have access to the information and those that don't have access to the information. Mm. So those I, who are wealthier, they all have the access to the information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a nine-year-old and a six-year-old, and we just started giving them an allowance and a debit card so they Ooh. can kind of see, you know, where their money is and, va and know the actual value of a dollar, uh, you know, budgeting and, and that kind of thing. But is that too young? It's never too young. In fact, you're going to get the Mother of the Year award, I think, um, because the major piece about money that young people have to understand is earning your money, right? Mm -hmm. It's not given to you just because your parents may have money doesn't mean you do. Uh, right. And you're going to get older one day and you have to be able to manage it yourself. So those little tips that you can do to help them manage their own finances and then track them and then say, hey, this is where you went wrong and this is what yeah. you can do better. So there's the whole idea of budgeting, right, and creating a budget for your life. And you do that from a teenage year as well into your adult years. And then there's this idea of saving, right? And mm. that's where a lot of people struggle because they have that budget, but they can't seem to raise that savings account. So what is your advice for the for teens who who want to save yeah the first question i would ask you for anyone watching this is do you have a budget right and teenagers of course will probably say no but many adults don't even have budgets for their own uh, spending habits uh, and that's critically important so google is your friend learn how to you know <laughs> understand what's going in and what's coming out but the key part about saving that i always tell young people is that 20 percent number whenever you earn money and you get a check Take 20% and do not touch it. And put it in a savings That's account. That's good advice, yeah. yeah. Can you talk about Work Sensibility, your organization, and what exactly it does? What kind of programs do you offer? Yeah, all of our programs are free of charge. We work with community-based organizations and schools. We go into the uh, settings and provide uh, the one-step financial literacy education. Uh, we work in New York City and Chicago. Uh, and if there's anyone listening who wants access to our materials, we give it away free of charge. Just contact us. Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. And what's interesting is the teens will likely give some advice to their parents as well. <laughs> and that's the hope. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You know, I, I will say, because it, it all, it, my parents were very good at teaching me from a young age to, to get that job, save the money. But mm -hmm. once you become the 18-year-old and you're in college and you get that credit card handed to you with the high interest rate, it's all out the window. And so yeah. you got to, you got to focus. All right, Roy. Yeah, the hardest part is talking about money for the future instead of right yeah, now. Right? And you're all about the now because nobody's thinking that far. They yet. want those new sneakers. Exactly. Right? <laughs> all right. Roy Thanks, Paul, Roy. Executive Director of Sensibility. We appreciate you being here. Thank you.